What actually happened? What led to this motion? Uh, good morning, uh, good evening, uh, Vuyo, and to your viewers uh, there. We uh, actually been uh, invited earlier this uh, week by the two political parties, the, 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 the Patriotic Alliance and the African Independent uh, Congress for a meeting of uh, multi-parties uh, leadership, and uh, we agreed to come to that meeting, and we had a meeting with them earlier yesterday. But did they tell you uh, what actually triggered um, uh, this, this new development? Because all along they were happy to go along with uh, Arthur Trollip. Well, uh, in that meeting wherein uh, the national leaders of most of the political leaders uh, were present, each of the party leaders uh, in the uh, Metro Council actually stood up and outlined the reasons of uh, why they have summoned the national leaders of other political parties and uh, their frustrations in the uh, coalition uh, 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 government with the with the democratic, uh, democratic alliance, amongst which issues that they rose was the bully conduct of Mr. Trollip, the, the refusal by the DA-led uh, uh, government and the administration actually to invest in uh, areas of uh, previously disadvantaged people in the Nelson Mandela Bay. But you and uh, the ANC and the UDM have been saying this all along, but uh, uh, people like the Patriotic Alliance didn't see it that way. So what actually made them to change their mind? Well, uh, in fact, we have been the only political party that have seen it that way, because if you remember, Mr. Vuyo, that uh, immediately after the August 2016 elections, the Democratic Alliance actually never brought the, the Nelson Mandela Bay on the table for discussion of forming of governments throughout uh, the hung municipalities. And uh, we, we knew that it will not uh, go for long with, uh, with all the political parties that they, were, they, they, they had decided to form a government with and uh, when we were called we we obliged we went there and we listened to them they told us all the horrible stories that they have uh, suffered in the hands of mr trollip they actually said this coalition government of the metro it's actually a coalition with uh, 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 mr trollip and not with the democratic alliance uh, but what interested us most was when the people spoke of the the, the challenges on service delivery when they told us that a, um, a resident will be owing about 50 rand and they will cut electricity and when it must be reconnected uh, they must pay another 350 rand it was cut using a laptop it is re uh, reconnected using a laptop and all of a sudden they must pay a 350 rand reconnection fee something which there has never been any labor or resources that has actually been uh, uh, put into in, into place by the democratic alliance uh, 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 government in the in, in the city, but our people are still made to, to pay for a reconnection fee. And through, uh, when actually big corporate white monopoly capital uh, industries who are owing millions and millions of rents, including a municipality, Kuga, which is owing about 50 million rent, they will never cut the electricity to them because uh, uh, it, is, uh, it serves their purpose just to deal with the black people in the black residential areas. Now, the Patriotic Alliance, truth be told, though, I mean, the Patriotic Alliance's uh, Damascus uh, moment came when uh, they didn't get the position of deputy mayor. And that's just, uh, uh, that's just a fact. Now, going to bed uh, with uh, people who are more keen on position, is that not going to, uh, I mean, will this, uh, will this alliance work in the long run if those are the issues uh, uh, seemingly that matter to them? Well, we have said it before that uh, uh, Mr. Trollip is not going to finish his term. Whatever it takes for him just to get out of office, we should actually support uh, 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 those moves to get him out of office because Mr. Trollip is a representative of the arrogancy of, a white, uh, of whiteness. You will recall that we told the Democratic Alliance that their failure and refusal to support the expropriation of land without compensation will have 
have a, a repercussion, and this is one of the repercussions that they, they have to suffer. We told the Democratic Alliance long time ago that their refusal to put the Nelson Mandela Bay on the table as and when they discuss with the uh, uh, economic freedom fighters, one day they will come and, 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 and actually discuss with us uh, how to save them. And we can't save them because they have refused to save themselves. They have to support the expropriation of land without compensation, failure which we shall actually uh, attack their symbol of uh, uh, arrogance, which is the whiteness of Mr. Trollip. What is Trollip doing or that uh, a, a Hemen Mashaba isn't doing in Johannesburg or a Solim Simanga in, in Tswane? You will agree with me that actually Mr. Herman Mashaba is now called the EFF mayor because for whatever we raise with him that represents the sufferings of our people, he does listen to it. The job at work, uh, workers will be returning back to work in the city. The, 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 the security uh, personnel who, uh, who used to belong uh, uh, outsourced have now been insourced. And there's quite a lot who are going to demand from the, uh, from the mayor for the people of Gauteng and for the people of the Johannesburg metro city. Now, going forward, uh, you have uh, to agree as all the parties on positions who's going to be the mayor, deputy, speaker, and uh, so on. Is part of the deal going to be to give the Patriotic Alliance the position of deputy mayor? Well, it is the move by the African Independent Congress and the Patriotic Alliance that convened all uh, political parties. They must uh, 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 chart the way forward in terms of positioning. The Economic Freedom Fighters is on record day one immediately after the, 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 the August 2016 elections that we are not in a hurry to govern anywhere where there are hung municipalities, and uh, Nelson Mandela Bay is not an exception. We shall support every other move as long as it puts white arrogance of Mr. Trollip and the Democratic Alliance uh, to its rightful place because our people have suffered long enough uh, in terms of uh, the policy position of the Democratic Alliance, particularly on the issue of land and expropriation of land without compensation. In other words, you're going to give this new coalition your vote, but uh, you're not going to occupy any position. Is that correct? <laughs> We have never occupied any position throughout the, the, the country on all hung municipalities. We have given a hung municipality to the Inkata Freedom Party. We have given a hung municipalities to the uh, 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 Metsimahulu Civic Association. We have given a, a position to all political parties. The Economic Freedom Fighters has not taken any since uh, 2016 August. And Nelson Mandela Bay shall not be an exception, save for the fact that we agreed to serve uh, uh, as the chairperson of the Municipal Public Accounts uh, 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 Committee and Oversight Committee. Okay. So, but uh, does that mean that, um, uh, um, or maybe I should ask it this way, do you have a preference as to who among your, your partners should occupy certain key positions? Well, uh, we will support any position that is uh, held by the, uh, the multi-party uh, uh, coalition, uh, minority government and coalition partners because ours is not about position. Ours is about the dignity of the African people in the disadvantaged communities of Nelson Mandela Bay. We are not there for any blue lights. We are not there for any positions. We are there to ensure that we direct the budget and finances of, of, of the municipality to benefit the majority of the people and the residents of the Bay. But you don't have a preference as to whether the mayor should come from the Patriotic Alliance, maybe the deputy mayor from the UDM, or anything like that? We will definitely have no preference. We will support every other move that they themselves agree on because they alone agreed on this particular move that um, uh, the Democratic Alliance administration and government should fall. We will support them. Uh, uh, as to who takes over amongst them, we will support them. We have never had any uncontrollable, uncontrollable ambition to govern, to lead. We have not uh, reached that point, at least for now.
and you'll be fine even if the mayor comes from the ANC. Well, uh, we have long told the, 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 uh, invited the African National Congress to take over some of the municipalities which are hung uh, uh, earlier this year and so on, and they, they, they have refused. It doesn't look like they have any appetite uh, for, for, for any position they themselves, in particular their mayorship, because it is a divided ruling party. It's a non-decisive uh, 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 political organization, which come 2019 May, we just have to remove it from power at Masambandlo in Pretoria. Mr. Quadrich Gadi, thank you very much uh, for your time. He is the EFF's uh, Secretary General. He attended a meeting in Port Elizabeth yesterday where this new coalition was discussed how to get rid of uh, the DA mayor in that municipality, Arthur Trollope.